Hi, everyone. My name is Missy, and I get to be a program director here at Lagarza Sports. I'm really excited to give you some tips and tricks for today to help you meet your site director's expectations and hopefully give you some success uh, along your road here at Lagarza and maybe even beyond. So you're probably holding a schedule right now. I want to take a moment to look at the back. You'll see that your sports, your activities are also dec or, um, structured in a similar fashion, which they kind of follow the same idea of like a teach practice play or for an activity, you've got the demonstrate play and extend. I really want to talk about the teach portion of this schedule, which um, we kind of try to leave up to you. You're going to know your kids better than I will, but I do know that every kid wants to learn something. So if you take a look at kickball, for example, here, um, kickball is a really great game that has a lot of skills you can teach. I identified one for you as running for, and I love this because we're teaching kids at a young age, um, something that my D1 track star uh, brother taught me when I was younger as well, which is to keep your hands open when you're running, energy coming out of your fingertips. And there's this awesome call and response where when I say pick your, you're going to put your hand to your nose and say nose. And the second time I say pick your, you're going to switch your hand and put the other one to your pocket and one back to your nose and say pocket. And that's going to demonstrate and kind of be like this really awesome uh, form for people to learn how to run. Then they're going to go on to their practice section, which is going to help them practice the teaching form that you just taught them in a game of pickle. Finally, you can play the game of kickball using what they are learning and really highlighting that skill to them throughout that time uh, that you're playing. I would also like to mention that uh, teaching a social emotional learning skill is a great teach point as well. Something like teamwork or maybe even how do you deal with uh, making a mistake? What do you say? Let's practice those words. Or maybe how do you talk to yourself when you maybe miss a ball or when you kick and it doesn't go where you wanted it to? So all of those are great teach points. Um, the next thing I want to mention is breaks. Breaks are encouraged. However, we want to make sure we also really spur the kids towards growth and running hard and doing their best. Um, we put in some structured time for your breaks. Um, you can see them in the yellow there. I really recommend finding some shade if it's super hot so that your kids can rest in a circle all together and kind of build that team camaraderie. However, you can also take a look in between your guided practice game and your play section of your time. You don't have a ton of time for this sport, but or any sport or any activity, really, none for enough time. But um, that's also another great time to take a break. So hope this helps you. Uh, good luck and have fun. Bye.